Uh, Jeep and Gong is basics to any style. It just means basics, general basics to the style that you do via punching or whatever. It's just the basics and the foundations of the system. Jeeping Gong for beginners and Jeeping Gong for advanced students and Jeeping Gong for higher level students is different. But even though it's basics. As the student grows and, he'll, and the level of the student grows, so must the basic. It doesn't mean that the general Jeep and Gong basic is going to be changed any different than the Jeep and Gong basic of the advanced or the, or the beginner. Take Ma Bu, i.e. as an example. You have a beginner doing Ma Bu and you have a advanced student doing Ma Bu. The Jeep and Gong is the same posture, but what's going on is completely different. And that's where the level has to change. Uh, even so, when you're practicing the moving Kao Da Ka this is considered cheap and gong, for example. But the basic student who does the moving uh, three-star arms, stepping forward three-star arms, versus the advanced student stepping forward three-star arms, stepping forward three-star arms, same technique, same basic conditioning idea, but the level of the, of the philosophy, the level of the understanding, Slowness is a key factor, a key element, it's a key ingredient to good Gong Fu habits, a good Gong Fu foundation, and patience of the person and perseverance of the person. Muscle memory is not talked about enough in martial arts. Muscle memory is very important in unconsciously going into postures, unconsciously practicing your forms. Muscle memory is, is an important, very important key factor in, in martial arts. It is, uh, 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 how to say, it's a large part of why you do a lot of the foundation trainings of the stances. It is to build up this muscle memory. It is to build up these postures and to memorize these postures throughout your muscles. So attaining the early foundations of Jeep and Gong with the uh, stretching, the strengthening, the relaxing, the flexibility, the pliability, and then building strength are important ingredients before you even have truly started the style. And today, Everyone jumps into the style before they even train this and they've lost so much and they have gained almost nothing except some flowerly form type movements. There's not to say that you can't begin the early stages of the style. It's not that you have to do five years of this and then you get to start the style. In old tradition days, that's how it worked. Three to five years, this is all you would work on before you even touched the actual meat and potatoes of the style or the style that, that you were trying to follow or the teacher you were following. Stretching, of course, makes all this that much easier because if your body is flexible, your muscles will become pliable, uh, your body will become resilient, and uh, uh, you'll be able to move more uh, cat-like and monkey-like and your strength will be able to rebound through your body or, and you will be able to throw it like, uh, like water and you will be able to move like a fast river but be flexible like a, like a tree in the wind uh, and springy like a, like a car spring can bounce. Uh, this is all important. Strength therefore can come from all this. Early stages of training, basic students in the beginning are using all what is physical muscle strength and 
an advanced student should have relieved himself of physical muscle strength and and uh, use intent and will to uh, guide himself. Now, it doesn't mean that you're relinquishing emptiness to the point of being uh, a sack full of nothing. Your body is engaged. Your body is full of power. You're actually feeling the power move through your body, but it's completely soft, but yet hard. So you have cotton on the outside, but steel on the inside. And you can reverse that at any point. You can make the steel on the outside and the cotton on the inside. There is yin and yang in all of this. Once you have understand the foundations, it's easy to start to bring these out. The hard part is is the student practicing it. The hard part is the student, his appreciation and his dedication to wanting to learn this. And in today's times, this is difficult because of work. We don't 24 hours train. Our lives are, are focused on work. Our lives are focused on family. Our lives are focused on making money and paying bills. And then when you have time after that is when you can focus on uh, practicing, right? Well, that's today's lifestyle, and we have to adjust. We have to adjust somehow that we can attain these skills, and and yet balance our lives that we can live and make money. And this is a very difficult thing because, you know, you work so hard and you don't have much time for yourself. And this stuff requires. It's a job. It requires work. It requires 24 hours a day to have some type of thought process. You just can't turn it on and expect in two hours, then turn it off, and then go work for eight hours, turn that on, then turn it off. You have to, it has to be blended into you. It, 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 there's no other way. If you want to attain high skills, it has to be blended into you on a daily basis, on, on, on your whole life. So attaining the early foundations of Jeep and Gong with the uh, stretching, the strengthening, the relaxing, the flexibility, the pliability, and then building strength are important ingredients before you even have truly started the style. And today, Everyone jumps into the style before they even train this, and they've lost so much. There's not to say that you can't begin the early stages of the style. It's not that you have to do five years of this, and then you get to start the style. In old tradition days, that's how it worked. Three to five years, this is all you would work on before you even touched the actual meat and potatoes of the style or the style that, that you were trying to follow or the teacher you were following.